welcome back to Forby and welcome back to my 110 restoration. Last time we were here we were spraying the inside of the door with some Corollas rust stabilizing primer and since then I've put on the top coat both on the inside and on the outside. Unfortunately I lost all the footage. The memory card that I was using my camera at the time for some reason went corrupt, it went really hot, let out a load of smoke and now it's in the bin. So we're going to pick up where we left off and there's a few things that I want to do to this door before I sign it off as finished. So let me bring you in and I'll show you what I want to do. So you might see by my reflection here we've put the top coat on the door. Now there were a couple of little marks here, a couple of little dings. Even though this was a brand new door I've decided to leave them in. I know that might sound a little bit lazy, a little bit crazy but the whole car is covered in little dinks and dents and I'm not after a full concourse restoration. Um, it's a bit silly, it's a 35 year old Land Rover and well I could just take it too far. So as you can see it's been painted with top coat, we've got some newspaper on here, the mask, we can, this can all come off now. Let me show you what's going on on the inside. The inside has also been painted with top coat and we need to put the lock in. Um, I want to put some sand deadening in here if I can. Fit um, a checker plate door card which I've got knocking around and put a back door shelf in. Um, and I think also I'm going to fill the inside of these ribs with some cavity wax as well. Now the door was knocking around the workshop and I didn't want the paint getting damaged so I literally I put it back on here uh, just finger tight with the bolts just as somewhere to store it while the paint hardened we've got a bit of overspill here from where I've gone in with the brush with the Corollas but that that doesn't really matter I could be pedantic and paint over that but I'll see what the lock covers up first so let's get this in the workshop and let's see what we can do in terms of finishing this off. One of the things I want to do with this door is protect as best I can this bottom section from rusting out. Nearly every single Defender door has ever been made has wanted to rust out along these bottom ribs. So I'm using this which is the uh, Zero Prep from Buzzweld and this is an injectable cavity wax and what I'm going to do is drill a few access holes around the place and inject this inside the ribs. So we've got, this is Buzzworld Zero Prep in the clear and this is a cavity wax.
Right, next I think we'll have a look at the checker plate, back door and the lock. Looks like we're going to need to cut this. Let's get that to fit properly. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this away, cut those sides out there, we'll get the lock fitted. And while I'm doing that, I think I'm going to elevate the door very slightly this way to allow that wax to run and creep into the fold in the bottom of the door. There we go, just enough angle to let that wax run into that joint. Now I don't know if you can see here that this wax is reacting with my top coat. So I want to make sure it's all wiped off the surface on the outside of the door. The inside doesn't matter so much but the outside I want to make sure that it's all, all off there. Well, I stood the door up on its end because I wanted to drain some of this wax out. I don't know if I went a bit too heavy with the lance, but the only apparent damage is around this hole. It's taken the paint off around this hole. Now, this is a two pack acrylic epoxy paint, and it was painted on Saturday. Um, today's Thursday, so that's five days this has been drying, and uh, it was severely bubbling on the other side. Um, but I've wiped across the bottom here with some white spirit. I got in touch with Craig Jones from Buzzweld and um, I just wanted to try and mitigate it really. I didn't want it bubbling at the bottom because I've got too much time invested in this now. And he said just to give it a wipe over with some white spirit. <clears throat> so it looks like the only place where it's really pulled the paint off is here. And this is where it would have been oozing out. But that doesn't matter. That'll get covered up by the hinge. I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead tonight and let this dry before I go any further with this. Well, I don't know what's happened here. What I do know is that wax has caused the paint to bubble. And luckily, it's on the inside and it was only where it was pooling until I stood it up on its end. Now, true to form, I did just contact Craig at Buzzworld and he got straight back to me with a remedy. So thank you, Craig, for that. And I think we've managed to mitigate um, the outside of the door and save it by just taking off what little overspray or what had seeped onto the front. What I am doing though now is I am blotting it on the underside to make sure I blot it under here just to make sure it doesn't take the paint off on the underside of there. I think that's all I'm going to do tonight.